Hi guys and Mystics, welcome to my channel, welcome to my studio, the place where I try out guitar gear related and studio gear related. So today I'm gonna show you this beautiful Plexstar pedal by Flatley Guitar Pedals. Why beautiful? Because it sounds really like a Plexi amplifier, all in this tiny box. Intro and then we will talk more about it. Welcome to everyone, this video is sponsored by Flatly Guitar Pedals. He was very kind to send me this pedal together with other pedals, so stay tuned because I try out pedals also for bass. Stay tuned. Anyway, all the opinion will be mine as always. So, as you can see, this is a really tiny box. This is the Plex Star. It's a really cool pedal, shares the same features from the premium pedals from Flatley Guitar Pedals, so very cool finish. This is a grey sparkling finish, very very cool. I really like the blue ring that will light up, as you can see. This is very cool for live performance, there is no any LED that will blink too much on your eyes, so very very cool. It comes with the top fit, I don't know the name. <laughs> anyway, it comes with this very, very cool in metal accessory with the Mexican skull graphic. As you can see, we have very few controls. The volume to match the volume with and without the Plexstar. Then we have the tone that will be very, very smooth. In my opinion, is not enough because I like to have brighter sound on Plexi style, but maybe it's because I'm using this amplifier and we will talk more in a moment. Then we have the gain. Again here, you have a very, very smooth gain control, and then we have a switch for the boost, which is very, very cool. Now, let me introduce my routing. I'm using my Gibson Les Paul standard Anico 5 pickups. I'm going directly to the pedal, Plexstar. I'm going to the amplifier. This is the Supro Statement 1699RH, no more in production, unfortunately. And then I'm going to my David Laboga cabinet. This is the tight cabinet with Mamzer 30 speaker, and the cabinet is mic'd up with an S Electronics R1 Rebo microphone and a um, K47 Roswell mini microphone. As you can see, I have the poly here. The poly is for the wet signal. So I've basically placed a routing with some reverb, spring reverb, because Plex is very cool with spring reverb, in my opinion, and then some delay. As you can see, I'm also using a torpedo because this is a no master amplifier and I need a torpedo to lower the volume. And inside the torpedo, I have also two impulse responses to stereo, stereoize, stereoize getting more stereo image sound. So everything is connected to my Audio Studio Synergy Core and I'm recording with Persona Studio One. As you can see here, I have another guitar that I'll use later because there is also single coil. Maybe you're interested in single coil. Let's start with a very clean sound. So let me show you the sound of my amplifier without any pedal. This is the sound. It's at the breakup, so it's not very clean. If I play very hard. started to distort. So let's engage now the pedal, let's start with very very low amount of gain, no any boost. But without the pedal, and this is all the way open, so it's not really bright. Let's start with very close sound. It's always really usable, in my opinion, so it's not really extreme, the, uh, the overall excursion, but the range.
I can also try with cleaner. This is cleaner amplifier with the pedal. This is the lower amount of gain we can get. Let's open a bit more. sound. A bit more gain. Full amount of gain. So let's engage some more river. Let's now engage the boost. It's a boost on the mid frequencies. It's tighter the sound without the boost. It's a bit engulfed because I think it's boosting the lower mid frequencies. I've not checked it on my usual analysis. It 
It's very smooth. It's boosting, of course. I can hear some more dB, but of course, it's also very, very, very driving up, of course, the amplifier right now. Yes, it's different also the voice. It's more open without the boost, more ah. Uh... Guys, he's doing everything only the pedal. This is my sound. Very, very cool. Let me now switch to the single coil guitar. Yes, of course, single coil makes more noise, of course. Okay, so this is the Plexar pedal by Flatly Guitar Pedals. In my opinion, a very cool, funny toy. Toy in a good way, of course. A very cool pedal, very cool finish, sounds very good, sounds very similar to tube saturation. I really like it. I really like how it's also engineered because in my opinion, it's been engineered very, very well. Very smooth, this tone. There is no any extreme settings, so you can use it as you want. If you place the setting randomly, well, of course, it sounds very, very good. So I really like also the boost because it's not a boost for solos, in my opinion. It's more a boost for saturate more in the low mid part. At least this is what I can listen here. I have not checked with my uh, user analysis. But very, very cool in my opinion. Sounds very good. And I think that the tone is also really uh, able to shape when you change guitar, for example, with brighter single coils or darker unbacker. I think that it's very, very well engineered. So guys, you have the link in the description if you're interested to purchase the Plexa by Flatly Guitar Pedals, maybe also other pedal in the catalog. Of course, follow me because I'll be at the Guitar Summit and for sure I'll meet Flatly Guitar Pedals. Maybe there will be some news 
Maybe there will be some news not related to PEDA, but something else. Maybe I know something that you don't know? Ah, uh, could be, could be. So leave a comment below, let me know what you think about, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.